Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today's foodle for your noodle is on work ethic, pretty much. So, you know, ever since I started working, um, you know, in KFC, that was my first job for a few months. And then I got into labor and construction, did some texture coding for five years. And then I worked in a number of restaurants and cafes. Currently, I'm a waiter in a cafe. Um, doesn't matter where I've worked and what I've been doing and who it's been for. I've always found that there's been this drive that I've had, right, to, to give whatever it is I'm doing my all, to give it my best, to not slack off, you know, when the boss isn't watching or whatever, or to not, you know, sweep dirt under the rug, so to speak, so everything looks like it's getting done, so it looks like I'm busy. I've always had the drive to actually be busy, yeah? And I notice, you know, residing in Australia, working alongside many Australians, that not everybody seems to share the same work ethic, basically. And I'm, I was raised in Australia my whole life, so I don't know if it's a genetic thing. I don't know, you know, it's not like my mother really uh, displayed any examples of really great work ethic to me, besides housework. Displayed a lot of examples of that. So, my, my dad, you know, for, for a portion there in my childhood wasn't, wasn't there. So I don't know where I picked it up from, but you know, I've always been anal and it really annoys me, you know, when I'm working and I'm trying my hardest, you know, and everyone else or most other people, generally younger, you know, than me, you know, whether they're late teens or early twenties, is lazy. You know, they've got this really foul attitude of like, eh, I'm only here because I've just got to do my job. I've just got to do my job. I'm just trying to get by, you know, really, I just want to, whatever. And they don't really, you know, they're just half assed Like, as a waiter, you know, you, you do your best to help everyone out. So if you take some food out and on your way back, you come across a table with, you know, cups and plates and whatever that are ready to be taken, you take them because your hands are free, you know. It gets really busy when the waves come in at lunch and breakfast, so... It helps, all those little extra bits, just being attentive, you know, and trying to multitask and not waste time, you know, walking back with empty hands. I seem to be among a few other people that share the same kind of sense, the same kind of respect, team respect, and wanting to help out as a team, work as a team. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating. And I did tarot reading for a few years ago. Uh, yeah, about a few years ago, and I did that for about a year, and I used to do it donation-based, right? I used to go on Fremantle and set up my little rug on the ground, my books and my cards, and make it look real nice, and, you know, half of it was novelty, but I know what the cards mean, and it's not like I'm psychic or anything, but I can tell people what the cards mean. And the basic go was that, you know, if, if the reading applies to you and you get something from it, then you pay whatever you feel, you know, it deserves. Uh, if you get nothing from it, you don't have to pay a thing, you know, free reading. And at the end of each night, you know, counting up whatever money I've made, instead of thinking, oh wow, this is, this is my pay packet, right, for these hours that I've been employed to work and that I've been receiving, you know, in this exchange, instead of looking at it as, you know, my payment for work, I actually started viewing them as tokens of respect, tokens of appreciation, because people had the choice to give this money to me or to just give me nothing. And so it meant that a little bit more, you know? It means that they actually got something out of it enough to give me some of their hard-earned money. And to me, that made a big difference. And I th the reason I bring up that story and all of that is because I think that's part of the ethic is that, you know, if people are paying you, whether it's them donating money to you from their heart, which is a lot better, I think. It's a lot more rewarding. Or whether it's because, you know, they're, they're paying for food because that's the, the price on the menu, right? Doesn't matter. They're giving you money from a service, money that they had to provide some good or service in order to attain, right? And the way I see it, if I'm paying for something, if I'm at a restaurant paying, you know, I expect to have, you know, to get my money's worth. I expect quality service, and to be honest, I expect people to do their best. I mean, fair enough, some places people get paid stingily. Management isn't that good. 
you know, and they just try to scrape off as many dollars off the employees as they can and scoop it up into their own pockets. You know, you get people that exploit their employees. And in these cases, fair enough, maybe there's, it's a mitigating factor. You don't need to try so hard because fuck, why work for free, right? But if you're in a good work environment, you know, one that's respectable and the people respect you, like where I work, then it goes without saying that if these, even the employers that are paying you to work to provide your service for their greater service that they're providing to the community, if they're paying you to work, then bloody work. Do your job. Yeah, don't just slack around. Don't go on your phone around the corner, you know, every 10 minutes to, to chat with some girl that you're courting or guy or whatever. Checking your Facebook, I mean, there's time for that. And you're not paid, and I know it's been said a zillion times, but you're not paid to be on your mobile during your shifts. You're not paid to be chatting by the coffee machine. You know, you're paid to do your goddamn job. And to me, it comes down to anything with work ethic. I think it comes down to respect. If you respect your employers and you respect the people that you're providing your service to or your goods, then you'll take pride in your job and doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what it comes down to. Like, I appreciated Tower so much and everything I got out of that. I didn't always make the most money doing it, but the feeling it left me with was more satisfying and more fulfilling on a deeper level. And because of that, you know, I was, I was willing to do a lot of free, a lot of free readings. And I still gave it my best every time, you know, because I, I respected people for just sitting down with me in the first place and taking the opportunity to try something new, something different, to open themselves up and be vulnerable for a moment. So I think it's hard, you know, to really develop that kind of work ethic and to give a crap about doing a decent job and trying your best and always bettering your game and evolving because you can always better your game you know that's why I get bored in some jobs when I reach a limit and there's no more room for perfection I feel the need to to find something else you know or find new ways to test my abilities and stretch my capacity but like it's I think it's hard for other people to be like that and to acquire that attitude if they're used to working in places where they, they don't feel respected or appreciated or their efforts are under acknowledged you know and maybe other people get more attention than they do. So they end up just getting spiteful and bitter and they think, what's the point in trying hard, you know? Fair enough, if that's the case. Like, it's hard to develop that go getting, do it, give it your best shot kind of attitude in, in that kind of space, that kind of setting. So my advice to those people would be to change your setting, change your job, find something that you can respect, that you can respect yourself for doing, take pride in. And then you'll find yourself developing an ethic which, you know, won't piss me off as much like a lot of other people are currently. Lazy motherfuckers. So that's that's the uh, foodle for your noodle today, ladies and gentlemen, on work ethic. Work from your heart, otherwise there's just no heart in it. And it's annoying for all those colleagues that you work with that throw all of their heart into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>